Tesla is a much different company than it was when they first started making the semi seven years ago. The DOT is giving semis an extra 2,000 pounds. They're averaging 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile. That would cost about 18, 19 cents a mile versus about 50 cents for fuel. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. I'm here in studio today with our founder and chief editor, Bill Moore. How's it going, Bill? Hey, it's going fine. Thank you. So from, there's a show going on right now called the ACT Expo 2024. Dan Priestley speaking about the Tesla Semi. So nine things that he said they learned. It's scaling in a very big way. Tesla is a, very, is a much different company than it was when they first started making the semi seven years ago. They're a much bigger company. And because of this, they're looking at volume production by 2026. So in two years, they're looking to have volume. doesn't say how much in 2026, but they're looking at it coming up to 50,000 units annually. That's a lot. That's a lot of trucks. The actual additional weight of the battery is not as much as you think. Now, apparently the DOT is giving semis an extra 2,000 pounds. So if they're an electric they're allowed to weigh 82,000 instead of 80,000, okay? Now, are they are they letting the states know this? Because, you know, you got to drive a truck across country, you're occasionally going to have to go through the weigh scale. So, I mean, hopefully they're communicating that to the local state DOTs now. Hopefully. Well, in my opinion, it's still going to be a while before these are really going state to state, okay? But the 500-mile the range semi weighs just under 23,000 pounds. And then they have a 300 mile semi, which is, you know, for much closer driving, 20,000 pounds. And this actually wasn't as big of a change. Now the Nikola truck weighs 29,000 pounds for a 360 mile range. So it's undercutting the Nikola, even with a bigger battery, by, even with more range by 6,000 pounds. So that allows it to haul more payload. And, and that that's a pretty big, uh, pretty big deal. The efficiency is really high. It t Now, and this, they have 3.5 million miles driven in their model trucks that they have out on the road, like with Pepsi and their own. And they're averaging 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile. Now, in, in comparison, you know, in, in Nebraska, what would that cost? That would cost, oh, about 18, 19 cents a mile to drive a tractor trailer versus about 50 cents for fuel, that, that's really quite efficient. It is the economics. It always will come down to the economics and the efficiency. With with a max load of 82,000 pounds, it goes up to needing two kilowatt hours per mile. So that's still not bad. The uptime of the trucks has been 95%, very little time off the road for maintenance and repair. They've leveraged many parts off the cars and will leverage that parts supply chain for the trucks as well. It's truly a complete diesel replacement. The Tesla Semi is easily capable of doing over a thousand miles a day with mega chargers and they can replace diesel trucks one for one. Well, I guess if you have two people in them, you know, if you have a team, you could drive a thousand miles a day. The truck battery can power refrigerated trailers. So refrigerated trailers usually have separate diesel engines and terrible emissions. The Tesla Semi solves that problem. And they t Tesla is planning to roll out public mega chargers. So charging is still core. There's a realization they need to repeat the supercharger rollout with mega chargers at half the price of today's megawatt level chargers. So that's, that's a pretty big deal. Ground up electrical design. Truck design is crucial. So they've adopted internal combustion platform for the EV results in a heavy, inefficient, and uncompetitive truck. So every OM wants to be best in class cannot take this route. So they, they went with an EV-related... Start from the tires and go up. So, yeah. Right. And so that that was, I, I thought, worth, you know, covering Oh, today. absolutely. Yeah. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.